Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is Phantom Star Killer number one from Black Caravan imprint of Scout Comics. Now, this is one I've been excited to read for quite some time. Uh, the art for it seems just been really, really cool, and just overall, like, has this like kitschy 70s 80 ish vibe about it that you know has me kind of excited to read it uh so this has been out for a while now a second printing just came out this past week you know i've lucky enough to score two copies two different covers of that first issue from uh, the scout comics box that we get every single month and uh you know just so happened to time uh, this cover with the release of the second printing and we're not going to do that one because this is supposedly a fairly difficult one to get a hold of but we're going to go and check out this cool cover and uh, copy of the comic. Now, as I said, this is out, uh, second printing is out this past week. So if you missed it, you know, you now have an opportunity to go get it. And it's kind of worth it. Like, it's it's pretty cool comic if you are into this sort of thing. Um, so the comic is created by uh, Peter Gorl, who also wrote and colored it. Um, he's of Killer Bootlegs. It's illustrated by Joseph Schmalky, lettered by Joel Rodriguez. Uh, so how do I describe this? So the story is about this um, assassin named Phantom Star Killer. He's captured, kind of changed into even like a crazier killer, and out on a mission um, for his masters. The story is pretty basic. Like it's just that sci-fi running around destroying people sort of story there's like there's not much depth to it it's you know revenge underneath uh it all like it's it doesn't go into depth too deep as to like who he's attacking and like why and the details aren't quite there it's just really kind of this pop kitsch vibe about it that's that's really cool that like that day glow um you know want to put it under a black light smoke some massive amounts of weed uh, and enjoy it. So it kind of has that like 70s, 80s vibe, which is totally what his thing uh, is. I like that. I mean, like this is this is kind of that comic that I grew up with in the 80s. It has that like He-Man, turn your brain off sort of thing. Don't go too deep into it. But has more of a vibe visually of like 70s Kirby, like meet panel van, or not panel van, but it's like side of the van of the art sort of thing going on. I guess that would be panel van. Uh, so, you know, van art um, with a lot of like black light thrown in there. It's, if that sounds like your thing, go for it. Like it's, it's cosmic out there, just, you know, death and destruction. It's, you know, we're, we're not going too deep on these characters. It's simple revenge why he's going after what he's going after we don't know who the people he's really killing like we don't really know a lot about them you know there's a twist at the end but that's kind of about it it's it's just like a it's pop sci-fi yeah it's pop sci-fi like it's the the 70s pop sci-fi where you just accept you know what's going on um all right show off the art because i think the art is like really what the draw is for this um you know if you like that cover you're gonna dig the dig the interior because it all goes pretty well together. I'm going to show off a bunch of it. We'll start, stop it right there. Um, so that's kind of, that's it. I mean, like, if you like that kitschy pop sci-fi, pop sci you know, just go out and destroy people, not go too deep into story, characters, all that, like, it's awesome. Like, the, the art's cool. Like, the designs are cool. This is something I want to see more of. Um, looks like we're going to get, like, a kind of a second chapter focused on another character in 2021. Um, but, yeah, like, this is just... This is about as pop culture as pop culture you can get. Uh, as I said, like, second printing's out this week, so your, your shop should be able to get it. Uh, Scout Comics has tons of... Um, different like variants you can go get. We'll have links to that. Uh, but go hit up your comic shop. We've got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code or tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have affiliate links. There are affiliate links. So we get a small percentage of that. By doing that, you help support our site, though. So thank you. And um, speaking of support, I want to thank you for watching. It's always appreciated as far as that. Uh, we, of course, again, got my copies of the, the Scout Comics uh, box. I want to plug that because I think it's just a really, really cool thing. It's how you get, get a chance to get some cool stuff like this and discover comics you might have never uh, bothered to read. Um, if you're into comics, if you're into Scout Comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep a geek. Yeah.
Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.